What's up, everybody? It's Buffalo Ben 15 Golf back at it again. And today we are at the Highland Golf Club in Southern Pines, North Carolina for the second of three episodes of the Southeastern Spring Swing Spring Break Golf Vlog Series. That was a mouthful. Anyways, we're going to get started on hole number one. It's a 391 yard par four. A uh, slight dog leg to the left. And I hook it into the trees. Way to go, me. First shot in North Carolina doesn't go so well. We're in the pine straw. You know, hitting at a pine straw was a really new experience for me. I had never done it before in a golf course in North Carolina. The Carolinas in general really do give you um, a lot of holes with pine straw as a prevalent obstacle. So... You know, it was a really interesting experience for me. I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was kind of like hitting a fairway bunker shot. Um, I do it pretty well here, trying to kick a field goal between those two trees a little bit. I just sneak past the left one, just trying to hit a big draw five iron. Little punch shot. Sure it goes right pretty well, and we're going to be um, just left of the green. Um, honestly, a pretty good recovery shot. Um... Something that I definitely need to get better at if I'm going to break 80. The recovery shots. I mean, I suppose there's only so much you can do in a recovery shot. Like, most of the time you don't have really a realistic chance of getting it close to the hole. So sometimes you're just looking to get it on or, like, within five yards of the green. And I was able to do so there. But... I couldn't capitalize on the putt. Um, you know, lately the putting hasn't been great. Um, I've been able to deal with the short ones okay, or at least I did on this trip. Um, I just played today, as I'm recording this, uh, around at my home course, and I missed like two putts inside of three feet. So yeah, it was not good. But... Um, I mean, at least that didn't happen on this trip, I can tell you that. So, there's a good drive. That's much better than number one, right? Uh, 395 yard par four. Making short work of it. We're going to have a gap wedge in. So, um, just right in the middle of the fairway. Uh, pins on the right side of the green. Um, pretty straightforward shot here. And seven yards out. Pretty good. We are on the left side of the green, about 20 feet away from Birdie. We'll take that every time. Um, one thing I do want to point out, though, is I'm cutting off the swing with my wedges, and I really don't like it. I really want to stop it, but, you know, I feel like my wedges are just such short clubs, and just so easy to maneuver, you know? It's so easy to hit different types of shots with them. And I'm afraid that if I flip my wrists over and, like, do, like, a complete follow-through as if it were, like, a driver or a five-wood, I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to hook it. And uh, that's the last thing you want to do with a short club. Uh, so I'm going to keep working on that, definitely. Um, but as for now, it has led me to the first par of the day, Ooh, always got to be in a good mood about that, right? All right, so we're off to a pretty long par three, 188 yards. I use a five iron off the tee. Wow. Oh my gosh, he creamed it. And I absolutely pound one over the green. Legitimately, thank God it didn't roll behind this tree here. It just kind of just stayed right next to it. Um, yeah, I felt like I took the right club, but, um, you know, it came out pretty low. I hit it a little thin, so I didn't have any spin on it, so it couldn't stay on the green. But from the pine straw, I hit another pretty decent shot, um, 15 feet past the hole on a Sunday pin. L let me just give it... Usually I try not to give you guys spoilers, but I'm going to give you one here. The pin placements 
on the day that I played this course were absolutely ridiculous. Oh my goodness. At least half of them were, were like stuff that you would see on the PGA Tour. Like, it was that hard. Um, this one you can't really tell, but um, the green has like an, a small little arm that um, extends to the left side um, when you're looking at it from the tee. And it's like 15 feet by 15 feet. It's not that much at all. It's only a little bit over 200 square feet. Um, so it was definitely a very difficult pin place and with a big pine tree right behind it and a bunker right in front of it. So definitely some hard pin placements today, just to give you a heads up. I should have also given you a heads up that I cracked another drive. This is the hardest hole in the course. I got a good hole to that one. And I, ready. so far I've made it a lot easier. <laughs> 290 drive up the hill good grief i have been absolutely smashing that driver of mine since i got that stiff shaft put in it's so much more applicable to my club head speed and it's doing wonders for me short girl you're so big no you're so chunky Stop. dad why don't you shut up i'm gonna get copyrighted for that <laughs> if you don't know what he was Referring to it was like a scene from the movie Madagascar with Ben Stiller and David Schwimmer. All right, anyways, um, so I end up in the bunker short of the green. Honestly, I thought this was a really good bunker shot until it just barely caught the slope and it goes down to the first tier of the green instead of staying up. So I'm going to have an absolutely... You didn't get it there. Monster putt, a marathon yeah. putt, maybe 50 feet or so. Um, just trying to get it close, you know? maybe tap in for bogey. On the hardest hole in the course, bogey score. is never a bad score. And we left it short. Yeah, not great. It's actually less than average, but I mean... I hit it pretty hard, like, as hard as I could hit it without, like, being uncomfortable. And, um, that's another thing I need to work on. I don't want to have to have absolutely monster putts every time because they lead to three putts like you just saw. Um, I don't want that to happen. I want easy life, easy two putts every time, you know? That's how I'm going to break 80 more often. Hitting the green in regulation and two putting not hitting it in regulation and three putting. So after that double, feeling a little bit behind, a big dog leg par four here, 410, but you can have like as short of 100 yards in if you try to take it over the corner, which is what I tried to do here. And I did so successfully, but I missed that single pine tree guard in the fairway by maybe a yard um you'll see it um once i get up to the green but um you know sometimes i do that kind of stuff i'm like oh i just made a double i gotta get that stroke back now you know at, now that i've broken 80 now that i'm broken 80 to like what four times now um get up. I know I have the ability to bounce back from, like, a bad hole. Like, because I remember I had two doubles the day that I shot 77 at Farmington Hills. You, course vlog number six. Yeah, there were two doubles in that video. Um, that's the pine tree that I was talking about, by the way, on the sort of right side of your screen. Um, but, you know, I was thinking, get the stroke back as early as possible. You can cut the corner. You've got enough distance. And I hit it really well. I just pulled it, and it almost cost me. But luckily, it didn't. And, um, you know, whenever I'm in that kind of situation, I'm like, oh, I got to get that stroke back. I got to get that stroke back. And sometimes I just jump the gun a little bit, and it ends up not working out for me. But that one did. And instead of getting screwed by a bad drive, I get screwed by another three putt. Pretty. Good grief. 
Come on, Black Marksman Odyssey, you're letting me down. <laughs> Alright. So, part three, first part, no, second part three in the course. I would say this is probably the signature hole. Good. Little 170 par three over water. Little green. I hit Another a seven iron. Really long putt. And, Another um, monster. Decent distance, I just pull a little bit. Dad and I were talking about how it would be another monster putt. Yeah, I paced this one off, and it was like 75, 80 feet. Yeah, as you can see here, I've got my wedge out. I am not putting this, even though I can. Because, like, for me, I would say that the longest putt that I can make a comfortable stroke is probably around 40 feet. So that's what I tell myself most of the time. Um, whenever I'm outside 40 feet and I'm not on the green, like if I'm like on the fringe, I will probably opt for the chip. Um, that may change as I progress, but we'll see. Nice. Hey, there's a made putt from about 10 feet. <laughs> Longest what I've made like, is it gonna in the last couple it? rounds. Oh, <laughs> so we'll take that, right? Uh, three is always a big help on the scorecard. It doesn't matter if it's a par three, a par four, or a par five. If you got a three in your card, that's a good sign. All right. Another good sign is that I pipe a drive on a short par five, and we're gonna go for this green in two. Let's go, guys. Yep. Great shot. Cracked three bills. We're got about 175, 180 in. Um, I think I used six iron, if I remember right. Going right oh, at it. One of the best swings I've ever put Whoa. on the ball. That yeah, might be an eagle putt. Good stuff, guys. We're on the green in two. Holy crap. First eagle ever on the golf vlog. Please. Or leave it four feet short and give yourself work for birdie. Hyped it up too much. Yeah, that works too. Um... Goodness gracious. The greens at this course were absolutely massive. And I keep sucking at them. A three putt par. Absolutely pathetic. My goodness I mean it's still a par right you can't really ever get mad at a par right unless you're me and you're a hothead alright yeah that, that took a lot of steam out of me and um I, I really, I mean, at at least a birdie. I was at least going for, you know what, two put birdie, first birdie of the day, let's do it. And, you know, it's one of those times where it's very easy to fall into the trap of, oh, let's count the strokes up before I even get it in the hole, or some crap like that. I got to stop doing that, guys. Um, Sorry I sound a little melancholy right now, but... You know, you saw me walking off that green. I was dejected after that four-foot miss. Um, I did something kind of stupid just a second ago. I chose to putt from like 60 feet, and it was off the green, and it was all bumpy. And truthfully, now that I look back at it, I think... That was a, I mean, why? 
you knew it wasn't going to go well. You hadn't been putting well all day. You should have just chipped. You hit a good chip on six. You know, it's one of those times where I just didn't trust myself enough. I trusted myself on this drive, though. I tried to give this one everything I had. Um, I hit it decent, just a little off to the right. But um, I got a lot of distance out of it. I got like 310 yards out of it because it like um, rode the cart path and like rode the edge of that tree line, that little half pipe that those pine needles make. So um, I ended up coming to rest on the cart path. That might obviously work. Obviously take my relief and then the I hit this. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're on. That is tasty, guys. That is what we want. Oh, man. Another eagle putt. <laughs> when was the last time I had two eagle putts in nine holes? I couldn't tell you. But, yeah, this one was really long. It was, like, 70 feet. And, like, go back five seconds. I mean, I hit it as hard as I could. Like, I just couldn't possibly get it there without like doing something crazy like I don't want to get my body involved in a putt it's not what you're supposed to do but you know that's I guess another part of my game that I need to improve on right all right so 42 plus six definitely a lot better than the front nine at University Club of Kentucky I hit my irons really well. I hit my driver really well. I hit some good chip shots. But, I mean, just look at the putt totals. 50% of my shots were from the green. That's terrible. Like, I mean, I know the greens were huge and all, but still. You know, I'm not one to make excuses. Whenever it's bad conditions, I honestly will tell myself, hey, it doesn't matter. You know you can shoot the same score you can shoot in 80 degree sunny weather with no wind. And uh, yeah, I, I'm just I, the kind of guy who operates that way. And, you know, I just need to work on the putting. That's a, really all there is to it. Um, not every course that I play is going to have small circular greens like back home. Like this is a golf trip. I should be expecting some different stuff, right? Um, well, tune in for the back nine. I've got a significantly better chance of breaking 80 than I did at University Club of Kentucky, even though I did rally on the back nine. I will say so myself. Um, yeah, that's basically all I got for you guys. Uh, back nine should be out in a few days. Uh, stay tuned. This is Buffalo Ben 15 signing off. Have a good day, everyone.